Live coverage of Expo North as it happens. This is Expo North Live. He plays in the band, the Remisco Mackie Mackie Rocking Horse, and won the Gaelic Song of the Year in 2013. Joining me is Mr. Ray McCartney. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, no worries. How are you today? You okay? Yeah, yeah, good, good. Now, first to the important issues. The band name, was that um, a, a, a winner at the air races, or how did that come about? It's a combination of uh, different things. Uh, Remy School was something my, uh, my mother-in-law used to call me, and Maki Maki was a sushi restaurant in Toronto that I used to go to. So it just fell together, it just became me. So. No, no, no real reason, no big story, but uh, kind of that's way. Now, I wanted to ask you, you, you actually class yourself sort of as a professional songwriter, mm. don't you? Now, what, what elements is that, not just with the band, what else do you do? Uh, it's kind of freelance uh, stuff, so I'll get like uh, briefs from a client to say they want music for, say, a uh, children's educational like, uh, song uh, and they can give me some lyrics or give me uh, an idea of a sort of tune they want and then I would write, write, write the music and uh, record it all for them and produce it and send it back to them. Uh, so I've done, I've done quite a lot of stuff like that. Uh, a lot of it has been based at, at children because there seems to be like a, an area there where there's not many people doing that kind of thing. Uh, so I've got quite a bit of work through that. It pays better than being a musician. So, <laughs> so where, where do you find the work? Uh, I use some online websites. The one I'm using at the moment is called uh, Upwork. So uh, it used to be Odesk and Elance they got together. Uh, they do like uh, freelance stuff for other things as well, like web design and all that, but uh, there's a section for audio. So. And what's the kind of most interesting project you've been given? A uh, well, strange project yeah, you've I been given. Probably, I've, I've had uh, some, some strange ones for for couples and things like that, but I think probably the the Times Table album that I did uh, for kids is uh, the lyrics are basically one times one is uh, one, <laughs> and music is behind that. So it turned out like a compilation album of songs. Every song was kind of different, but the lyrics were all the Times Tables. So uh, that was an odd one. And you also founded a record label, mm -hmm. Planet Groucher Records. It's an independent. Yeah. So how did that begin? What what attracted you to that? Uh, it started out just as a way of uh, releasing my, my music because I wanted a little picture on the back of my CDs because uh, everyone has one of those. Uh, and I, from there, I got into other bands and get involved with other people and end up producing music for other people. So it became a way of me getting music out for bands that I liked or bands that I was associated with or people I worked with. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a collective or a DIY, like we do it ourselves sort of thing. So the band, I won't. I don't have money for promotion, I don't have uh, money for all that kind of stuff, but I will release things digitally, you know, I'll, I'll make vinyl up if, if I can afford it, you know, so it's, if the bands, they do their own things as well, so they help out, so, but. Well, thanks very much for joining us, yeah, uh, nice. Ray, and you are actually going to be doing a session for us, yeah, yeah. okay, so everyone can see that. Yeah. Thanks a lot, yeah, Ray no McCartney. Worries, Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.